Here the question says that the number of one one functions f from a comma b comma uh, c comma d to zero one to three for all the way up till ten such that two f a minus f b plus three f c plus f of d equal to zero is what? So this is uh, basically the equation can be re rewritten as f of b equals to two f a or rather uh, we can first write a uh, three f c plus two f a and then we have plus f of d right now here we can take cases on fc so obviously f of c cannot be uh, more than three right it is obvious that this must be less than or equal to three because if it is four or more this would become 12 or 12 or more and fb cannot be more than that right so fc would be less than or equal to three moreover f of b can obviously not be equal to any of them f a f f c or f d because let us assume f b equal to f d then if we cancel it from both sides we get 3 f c plus 2 f a equal to 0 which would mean f c f a both equal to 0 that is obviously not possible since we have to find 1 1 functions right so all f a f b f c and f d are going to be distinct integers right because of 1 1 nature and hence f b cannot be equal to any of uh, fc fa fd no matter what no matter how hard we try because if that happens then fa fc fd or whatever is remaining all of them will have to become equal to zero which is not possible now we take the cases on fc first then sub cases on a and then further sub cases on fd and which will automatically give us a value of fb which will surely be acceptable as long as it is less than or equal to 10 because anyway it will not cause a problem for one one function since we already discussed that it is obviously not going to be equal to fc fa or fd since it is not possible only as long as fa fc fd are chosen to be distinct integers and then we will just count the number of cases so now one two okay let's start so let us first start with the case when uh f of c is simply equals to three so obviously if it is three then the equation becomes f b equals to nine plus two f a plus f d so clearly f a can't be one or more otherwise this becomes 11 or more so uh, that is not possible f a must be zero thus and when this happens f d can't be zero because zero is already assigned so fd can be only one right because then fb becomes 10 maximum possible value so there is just one case here then when it becomes uh, uh, fc becomes two then equation would become what uh, simply fb equals to six plus two fa plus fd so now fa can take values zero one or two but two is already assigned here so only it can take zero or one First case when it takes zero, the equation again becomes fb equals to uh, six plus fd. So fd can now take values zero, one, two, three, or four. But zero and two are already taken, so we just have the cases of one, three, or four, right? So these are three cases. Then when uh, we have uh, f a equal to one, the equation can be rewritten as fb equals to. Uh, so basically, it is going to become 6 plus 2 is 8, right? So 8 plus f of d. f of d can now be 0, 1 or 2, right? So, but 1 and 2 are obviously rejected, right? Because they are already taken. So it can only be 0. Thus, there is only going to be one single case. Now, what about the case when f of c is 1? So when it is 1, clearly the equation would become fb equals to 3 plus 2 fa plus fd. Now, clearly, maximum possible value of FA is going to be 4, uh, not even 4, 3 actually. Because 2, 3 are 6, 6 plus 3, 9. It can't be 4, right? Because 4, 2 are 8, 8 plus 3, 11 already exceeds 10. So, it can, its maximum possible value is 3. So, it can only take values 3, 2, 1 or 0. But it can't take 1 also because 1 is already there. So, 3, 2 or 0 only it can take. So, when it is 3, the equation basically becomes fb equals to 3 plus 6, which would be 9 plus fd. So, fd can be 0 or 1, but 1 is already taken, so it must be 0. zero so, there is just one possible case. 
Now the case when f is 2, then this can be written as fb equals 2. So if f of a is 2, this becomes 7 plus fb. So fd can be 0, 1, 2 or 3. But 1, 2 are already taken, so only, only 0 and 3 are possible. So two cases. Then 1 and 0 case we take. So here it would become fb equals 2, 3 plus fd, right? When f of a is... Uh, basically zero value right so fd can take values from zero till seven right but zero and one are rejected because they are already taken up right so two three four all the way up till seven clearly these are six cases now we have the final case for fc then fa then fd and finally the number of cases and this final case is obviously going to be the one where f of c becomes equal to 0. So when f of c is 0, the equation clearly transforms into fb equals to uh, 2fa plus fd, right? So twice fa plus f of d, right? So clearly f of a cannot be 5 because 2 5s are 10. So fd must be 0, but 0 has already been assigned to fc, right? So f of a maximum value is 4 possible here. So 4, 3, 2, 1 or 0. But 0 is again given. So only 4 cases. 4, 3, 2 and 1. Now when f of a is 4, the equation becomes fb equals to 8 plus fd. So clearly fd can be 0, 1 or 2. But 0 is already taken. So 1 or 2 only. So 2 cases are there. Then the next equation is uh, fb equals to 6 plus fd because we are now taking the case when f of a is 3. So obviously fd can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, but 0 and 3 are already taken. So just 0, 1, 2 and uh, 0 is not there. So 1, 2 and 4 only, right? So only 3 cases. Now when f of a is 2, this becomes f of b equals to 4 plus fd. So fd can be 0, 1, 3, 4, all the way up till 6. However, uh, it has already taken 0 and 2. So 1, then 3, 4, 5 and 6. These are the only possibilities. And hence there are 5 cases. Now the final case we take, which says that f of b would be equals to uh, 2 plus fd. So fd can take values from 0, 1, 2, 3 all the way up till 8. But 0 and 1 are rejected. So 2, 3, 4 all the way up till 8. Clearly these are 7 cases. Now in total, how many cases have we gotten? So, hey, so we just add them. So on adding, we get uh, 17 here. Then 17 plus 4 is 21. Then uh, 21 plus 2 is 23. 23 plus 2 is 25. 25 plus 6 is 31. So this gives us the final correct answer is a correct answer as 31 possible functions, right? And this is exactly what we fill over here as well.